Hi, good morning. It's Monday and welcome to week two of these video blogs that we've been doing from the new Buckinghamshire Council. Um, I'm Martin Tett, I'm leader of the Council's executive and what we're trying to do is keep you up to date each day with some of the latest developments and support you can get from the new Buckinghamshire Council. Uh, feel free to forward this uh, video blog on to any of your colleagues or street associations or groups you're also in touch with locally. So we really want to spread these messages as quickly and as widely as we can. So week two, um, what a change a week brings. This time last week, we were recording the first one of this. Uh, we were all in our suits uh, in the office in uh, Aylesbury, uh, very formal. Uh, during the week, obviously, we've had the whole change towards social isolation. So we're doing these now as blogs from our home and uh, much more casual, much more informal, but hopefully uh, still very informative. So just a couple of headlines from me. Um, first of all, anyone who lives in the Chilton and Wickham District Council areas, um, you will have noticed there have been issues with the collection of recyclables. Um, they were interrupted last week because of staff shortages. Uh, we believe that's now been resolved. So this week you should have your normal collection of recyclables along with any what is called residual waste. That's the black bins in most of our areas. Um, as per normal. Uh, if you have any questions about what date that is, go on to either the Buckinghamshire Council website or your local district council websites, uh, both of which will be linked with the same information. The only real change is uh, food waste collections, which used to go in like a brown caddy. Uh, that now won't take place because of the, the staffing issue. Uh, so just dispose of any food that you can't compost um, into your black bin and that will go out with the normal black bin collections. The only other thing I just wanted to say before introducing our guest speaker for today is I've just been amazed that the number of people are sending me information on local community groups that have been setting up in the last week. Um, a week ago, these things barely existed. Uh, now we've got hundreds of them quite literally right across the county. Uh, they vary from town groups, village groups, street groups, uh, faith groups. Uh, and in some cases, I've actually had one uh, mail me about a pub group. Uh, they're set up to actually look after some of the regulars in the pub and it's just great quite frankly the way in which the communities across Buckinghamshire have rallied together and what I'd like to do maybe in some of the the future versions of this video blog is to give you some examples from particular areas um, from right across the county it's just fantastic to be honest uh, and quite frankly inspirational um, so I'm going to introduce my guest speaker for today uh, that's Sarah Ashmead Sarah is the Deputy Chief Executive of the new Buckinghamshire Council and she's leading all the work that's going on around the volunteering and community sector from our point of view uh, and in particular also linking in with central government's initiative on distributing food to the most vulnerable uh, in the community. So having said that, I'm now going to hand over to Sarah. Sarah, over to you. Thank you, Martin. Just checking that I've gone live. Yeah. OK, so um, as Martin said, um, my name is Sarah Rashmead. I'm Deputy Chief Executive at Buckinghamshire Council. Um, and as part of our response to COVID-19, I'm leading on our work around volunteering and liaison with the voluntary sector. Um, as Martin has said, we've got absolutely fantastic activity taking place across Buckinghamshire by community groups, voluntary sector groups, town and parish councils, who've all set up uh, various initiatives to, to help people in various different ways who are self-isolating or shielded at home. Um, and if you go on our website uh, and you can type in your postcode, you can actually see the groups operating in your area. So if you know somebody who needs help, please go onto our website, um, identify those groups um, and connect people into all those community activities that are taking place across the county. Um, I wanted to talk particularly about what we're doing um, at the moment in Buckinghamshire around the group that are called um, the Shielded Group. Um, if you're in this group, um, you are there because you have a, a particular medical condition which places you at particular risk um, in the current climate. And you will probably have received a letter from your GP um, asking you to take various steps to make sure you are shielded. Um, and also saying that if, if you need help, if you haven't got access to family or support networks right now who can help you, um, you will have had the invitation to sign up on the government's website or to use their, their call line um, and register that you need help. So in Buckinghamshire at the moment, uh, we have a, a number of people who have registered 
And today we have received um, food parcels from the government that have come into our distribution centre and we have established eight hubs or hub teams across the county who will be uh, today, tomorrow, distributing that food out to the people who've said that they, uh, they are in urgent need of food um, and daily supplies. This is an interim measure, so we expect this to, to be needed for the next week before the government's own direct delivery starts um, happening. Um, so um, once we get into that rhythm, uh, supermarkets will be delivering food parcels directly to doorsteps. But in the meantime, uh, the council is uh, acting as uh, an intermediary. We are receiving that food uh, and we will be getting it out to people. So um, if you've registered, you would uh, expect to get a phone call from us today, tomorrow, just checking that you need that food parcel. Um, and if you've got any other needs that we need to be aware of, then we'll be checking that with you before um, distributing those uh, food parcels. Um, so a little bit more about our hubs. So the, as I said, these are teams that are in place across the county now. They have got a location, but these are not places for the public uh, to drop in. Uh, this is purely uh, um, a place where we can coordinate any um, physical activity, any distribution of food, etc. Um, so please don't drop into those centres, um, but we do have those local teams who are coordinating activity with other vol voluntary organisations on the ground. Um, so one more message from me. Uh, if you are fit and healthy and you're able to volunteer, then please do so either through your local community groups, which, as I said, you can find out about on our website or indeed you can fill in the form on the council's website and volunteer with us direct. And we have had already <coughs> over 800 people who have uh, very kindly offered to volunteer to help. And we are um, deploying those volunteers in discussion with our voluntary organisations around the county. So um, again, there's advice on our website about how you can volunteer safely. Um, but obviously the key messages are if you are volunteering, please keep your distance, please wash your hands um, and just keep yourself and others safe so that we can all protect each other and look after the NHS. Over to you, Martin. Thanks, Sarah. That's a really good explanation of what's going on. Um, just to end this, just by saying we're getting a lot of offers of help and it's really great that you're doing that. Uh, please keep some of the great examples coming in. I've had, I think, three or four examples within the last couple of days. Haddenham, Stoke Mandeville, um, had a great email from uh, Wickham as well, where some councillors are actually doing food parcels for local communities there. So please let us have those examples and I'll give you some great publicity uh, on this video blog every single day, because I think some of these great examples can be really motivating for others as well. So that's the end of today's um, video blog. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it inspirational. Hope you found it educational as well. Uh, let us have any of the content that you'd like us to cover in future video blogs and we'll make sure that we can actually respond to what it is that you want to hear or see from the council um, in the days and weeks to come. So keep safe, keep well and speak to you tomorrow.